Good evening, it's midnight. I'm Gracie Opilanza and I am in um, perimenopause. I think I'm now shifting into full on menopause, hot flushes. And this video is really to people that are at my stage. Um, I'm boiling and Italian villas where I live are not that hot. I've got to have my fan on. Oh, I am dripping. And uh, for those that are going through it, I mean, God knew what he was doing when he cursed the woman. And I'm not doing hormonal treatment um, at all. I am using just castor oil and I live in Italy. So lots have gone really plant-based at the moment. And the reason for that is of the health um, scare that I've just had in the last few months. In fact, I've had pretty much a tough year um, regarding my health. And we'll start with, um, that's why I've never used castor oil before. I'm not an expert on it, but I'm learning how it, it works for me. The hot flushes at the moment, I mean, the game changer was um, I didn't have my menstrual cycle for s about five months. Then it's just come back because I did a lot of grounding. What that means is just walking on grass. I've got, I'm in a 300-year-old villa. So I'm walking on 300-year-old stones and pebbles. So something kicked off and it triggered my period to come back. And now it's stopped again. So it's... It's uh, perimenopause is really when your period's on and off. And so I'm 53 years old and castor oil is my new best friend. Not an expert on it. I've done a few videos on what works for me and what doesn't. And I live in Italy, so the castor oil that I get access here is completely different to the castor oil that I get accessed in Southeast Asia. It's originally from India. So... Um, today's video is the continuation of the castor oil and how it's, how it's helping me with my menopause and the health scare that I had that came out of nowhere. You'll find the symptoms that I've had, um, and I had no idea with menopause, it's, um, and I've already have it, had the symptoms for the last 10 years, the swelling of the feet, um, I have um, swelling, I have cold showers which really help, I swim in cold swimming pools outside, it's, get, it's still in the, in the high 30s but in the morning here in Tuscany throughout the night can drop to 17 degrees, so I'm out there having super cold showers, it's a killer but it helps, I'll talk about the castor oil and why I'm using it and what it's doing it for me. In the last three, day, three days, the hot, just the hot flushes. So it's, it's just like walking into a sauna, comes out of nowhere. Or, you know, when you hop in a car and you just have that heat on you, it's exactly like that. And that's really, really annoying. So I wear silk and cotton. Fantastic for that. Right. Um, the other symptoms is inflammation, which I have suffered, and I'll tell you the last year's been from hell. And my background is I'm not even really fit, ski a lot, I'm digital nomad, so I travel around the world a lot, I walk a lot, I don't do high intense um, exercise, but I can see that I'm getting weaker, so I need to do like push-ups, press-ups, low intensity weights. So I understand that. That's apparently for the bone density because as you lose your menstrual cycle, then everything gets a lot more fragile. And I'll never forget 10 years ago, a woman said to me, Gracie, when you hit your 50s, it all goes down. And I have to say in the last year, I'm going to agree with her. So really give you in a nutshell, um, I've had dengue fever. I've had a Mai Tai incident where 
the idiot just kicked me unannounced in the leg. So it's really damaged my left knee and I couldn't even walk upstairs. I can't wear high heels. That's really been horrible working on that. I had an infection in the chest here in Tuscany. Imagine seeing that bed and imagine there's a pipe in that wall of sewerage and that was leaking into my brain for five weeks at an Airbnb. I wasn't aware of it, so I was really, really ill. Um, I've had an inflammation on the lower ankle. Um, what else have I had? And now as a result, I've had a horrendous cough and it, that just slowly exhausts you down. So what happens, and then menopause is kicking in, it slowly, slowly wears you down. And the stiffness as well, the stiffness, oh my goodness. And I live in Southeast Asia, so I am, I'm having massages every day, acupuncture, doing lots. And I work from home, so I have the luxury. Like now it's midnight again. In the last three nights, I'm awake from midnight to five in the morning. So I'm working. But can you imagine, I can only empathise uh, for the women that have to just go to work. You know, I work, but I can now at five in the morning, and what I find, I go back to sleep, and I wait for four hours. So my body is getting that rest. But it, it's life's not a bed of roses for everyone. So the castor oil has really saved my life in so many ways. And the biggest um, health scare is... After I had this sewerage infection in my brain, in my chest, I woke up in November with a growth on my tongue. It just came out of nowhere. And I thought I was biting my tongue. And my top tip is, I'm from a generation, you just get on with it. Pampering, self-care is not what I grew up with. And therefore, don't dither and dather and wait. And I put up with it. For seven months. I don't know why. And so it got worse and worse and worse. And what it was doing, it was draining me, draining me. Now, it's got to do with menopause, or maybe it was with the sewerage or the combination. And um, I'm here in Italy and I thought, I've got, some, got to do something. I mean, it was killing me. It was growing bigger. I was cutting it, thinking it would go away and it just would grow like within days. Any growth anything on your tongue that is there for more than two weeks, go to a doctor immediately. And thank goodness um, the doctor referred me to a lady that was really big, really painful and energy draining. I didn't realise because like I, maybe that's what's going on here that I've recovered from it thanks to castor oil, but other, other stuff as well. So I went there, they cut it out. I'll never forget the moment where she went, Mamma mia. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Cancer of the tongue is what I was reading on Google. It's all very well um, reading, you know, these things online and self-diagnosing. But anyway, we're in Italy and in August everything closed down. So I had to have four weeks of waiting and in the back of my mind and I'm a Christian and I was praying and I said I'm not being taken out like this my brother died of cancer at 54 I'm 53 so you have that fear so through intense spiritual praying friends praying and going completely plant-based and people were saying to me it's from it's your gut health it's coming from your gut and I'm like so my weakness are cakes and cakes and cakes sugar so I can't have it I can't have it I've got to really really um, be mindful that I put uh, essential oils but the castor oil has helped me with my inflammation and what it did when she cut my tongue out, tongue and it was a big chunk out of my tongue and your tongue don't panic because it really heals fast it knocked me out pretty much for three weeks but I was dry raging I had this horrendous cough and I mixed um, castor oil and um, frankincense because 
just spiritually I felt to do it. And I also put frankincense scent on the roof of my tongue, thinking it was cancer, right? I mean, you can go down all these rabbit holes. The biggest thing is to remain calm and not to be stressed. And I really find um, I just moved house, moved into a beautiful villa, had my mum over. It was really stressing that stress affects the gut and it's affecting me. And I won't tell a lie, I've had the all clear, but I can feel it. I can feel exactly where it got out of my tongue. Um, so the first thing is a growth in your tongue, if it lasts for more than two weeks, go and see a doctor. And um, if you're in Italy, if you die in August, well, that's just bad luck. I mean, everything shuts down. It's absolutely ridiculous. But I thought if it was really serious, in fact, it took five weeks, they would have called me. But the moment she cut it out, I thought, wow, uh, what am I going to do here? And uh, good friends of mine and, and even the pharmacy said, look, this is coming from your gut, your gut health. But what? Wow. I thought because the growth came after the sewage infiltration in my brain and my chest. But anyway, frankincense on the roof of my mouth. Uh, to combat any you know, the change of the cancer cells, apparently that I was told, and then castor oil. Check on my YouTube, put in castor oil, and I'll show you and I'll tell you the brands that are working for me. And and I'm again, I'm not an expert, but um, if it smells like peanut, olive oil, or cooking oil, then it's not purest of ca castor oil. It's been tampered with. So, and I continued in trying to find uh, recommended brands. The top tip is go on Amazon or go into some where you can have access to it. Just read the reviews. Now, so when you get castor oil in Southeast Asia, it automatically comes in a glass bottle. In Italy, I find it doesn't. So I've got mine in an olive oil make sure you tell your family members and friends that it's not olive oil right um, I mean you won't you know you won't die having castor oil but it's not ideal it's thick it's particularly made for your skin inflammation on your belly button for constipation and swelling and stiffness so I've mixed six drops of frankincense this one's like a hundred euros right so don't burn it use that and I put it then in I have a little bottle because I take this everywhere I'm a nomadic I'm traveling all the time I have it in my bag so once what I was finding I was having this horrific cough obviously it was coming from the gut I didn't know and it was the growth on my tongue, so she cut it out. I had a massive hole in my tongue. It was really scary. And I started doing this. So if you have, I'm going to take my Versace ring off here. Now it's oily. So look, this stuff is really oily. So always put it on something else, yeah? And keep it sort of in one spot. And especially if you're putting on your feet, which I do, um, feet, I have issues with my feet, menopause, um, cuts and um, really hard skin. I mean, I'm really working the feet. In Asia, I always go and get a, um, a pedicure as in a foot scrub and stuff, but my feet, and they say I'm a Leo, July, they say Leos always have issues with their feet, and I have to say I do, my left my left side, which is the feminine side, is the issue that I have with my feet. Interestingly, with my knee, they got kicked. And I've grown up in a generation where you get on with it. I grew up on a farm in Australia where women just, um, yeah, I just, um, the majority of women are, how can I say this? It's a really man's world. But I, you know, I grew up in timber and cattle and was very tomboyish and just got on with it. So this is balancing 
the feminine side and my weak side is the feminine side and I'm really working on um, my feminine side. I mean, I'll get in there and pick things up and wardrobes in the past and do what a man's job is. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no more. It's very hard for me because I just, that's what was ingrained in me. So my left side, my feminine side. So I had this horrific cough, just an irritation here, dry reaching. The moment it got cut out, I did this. Six drops of frankincense, it's spiritual, it's healing. Rub it and I do it. It's a lymphatic drainage. Buy a trampoline, great, great for lymphatic drainage. In front and behind the ear and I did this, right? I did it under my arms and here as well. Almost vomiting. Every time I did it, the castor oil was obviously working the toxins in my body after the growth was taken out. I mean, there was a week, there was a week, uh, I had um, inflammation here. And I'm just doing this gently. You're lymphatic, here, here, and across here. And um, I did that, and I like for 10 days, just coughing and coughing, and I'm like, oh my goodness, what's going on? What the castor oil was doing for me was just draining all the toxins. Uh, the body was finally, this growth was taken out. I slept and I kept doing this. It's great also for your skin. Frankincense and castor oil, beautiful for your skin. And I have to say, I'm 53 years old and last week I met a stranger and he thought I was in my 40s. But that growth was aging me, draining me. I was getting really, really unwell, sleeping, no energy, like I was treading in mud. And I thought it was the menopause as well. Again, do not ignore growth. It's there for more two weeks, go get it cut out. And um, basically in a nutshell, it's my gut health. So with menopause, it really changes. So I'm going all plant-based. They say not even a lot of fruit because there's sugar in that. Uh, kimchi, uh, no breads, no, no coffee capsules. i tell you what happened here. Once you cut it out, coffee capsules, no more. I mean, have access to coffee in Vietnam, Thailand, Laos, those coffee cups, vomiting. I had a coffee and I just vomited. Oh my goodness, the body is your most self-healing. And as I said, um, I'm going to put here some as well. I put castor oil um, at night on my feet as well. I've got a big cut in my foot. I'm finding that injuries are taking longer during menopause. It's this cut, but as I said, apparently menopause is your, your, your feet pill. So pamper yourself in a proper petty or um, um, just hold on. I'll close that and give you. And, you know, it's all about self-pampering. And I'm from a generation that grew up on a farm. Women around me didn't do spas, wellness, massages. They worked hard. They worked like dogs. And my mum's from an Italian background, full of arthritis. I'm a, a, ch a child of an immigrant parents, racially discriminated, bullied. Have a look, because I'm writing a book. Uh, many people are telling me to write a book. So on my YouTube, it's a lot about fashion, but now I'm just telling my story. So if you, if that's your mum, if that's your role model as a woman, you have to change the habit. You've got to say, right, stop. Just have a growth in the tongue. I, put, I tolerated it for eight months. It wasn't a cash issue. Just got on with it. Don't ignore your health issues, especially in your 50s. We're on the wrong side now, people. We're on the wrong side of in that, you know, we're not young anymore. 
So your gut health. I'm spraying rosemary water, making it myself. You should see my hair for the first time. I used to, all my life, my hair wouldn't grow past here. Um, and it was brittle. I spray rosemary water all over me, all over my skin. I have rosemary tea, lemon tea, everything. I'm in Italy, you know, beautiful food. I live amongst 10,000 olive trees. I touch the olive trees. I pray. I worship. I'm uh, speaking and manifesting prophetically, which is a Christian thing of where I want and where I'm going. And also... Um, letting out all that unforgiveness as well so look at my youtube about the bullying it was i've had a brutal year of women strangers verbally abusing me but i have that gifting where um evil spirits just manifest in front of me it is a gift we all have it but it really rares my spirit really aggravates evil spirits and I've had that all my life. So I recognize that as well. I speak scripture. So back to the castor oil, the growth, it was cut out. It's a fantastic lymphatic drainage. I've got stiffness all the time, which the milk vessel and uh, omega-3 and um, what's that other one? Magnesium, I found help. Now, I had dengue, dengue fever, horrific, horrific, really bad. It's, it's uh, really bad in Asia. So that damages the liver. So on top of this growth, I then had liver damage and dengue just wiped me out. Then I had a Mai Tai instructor kick me in the leg. It was brutal. Then I had people verbally abusing me strangers i had it all coming no weapon formed against me shall prevail i'm the head i'm the i'm the head not the tail and i thought i'll tell you as a christian when god's taking you to another level where he's really asking you to do something you're gonna get it and when your health is under attack you you know you you should always put your armor on and pray scripture but this year I was like, hold on. And it took me many months to find this home, Italy Rental. You can check it all out on my blog and all out on my YouTube. Finding long-term rental in Italy is like a needle in a haystack. But in any way, so it was brutal. And um, as I said, I've done this. You can see I'm putting the castor oil here and under the lymph nodes. It's a lymphatic drainage. Get a trampoline, especially for us women. It's good. It's a not um, low impact is what we need. You don't need, to, unless you're really, really into heavy weights and spinning and running, low impact. Sea water. Also, um, I am, what's really important is I'm plant-based and my my um, mouth health so um um soda soda okay i just yeah i go blank brain fog because things are happening it's really frustrating it's frustrating when words bicarbonate soda is the word and don't get frustrated watch your stress levels get your family to step up as I said, get your family. I'm a mother of teenagers. So my husband's got menopause and two teenager um, girls. That's all happening. So this is what happens when you have your kids in your late 30s. You know, before that wasn't happening. So teenagers, teenager hormones, menopause. And then I had all these health problems and the castor oil. And I'll tell you what I also do. Again, keep it in a glass bottle. If you find you get sold here in Europe in a plastic bottle, transfer it immediately into a glass bottle. I'm putting this now on my coccyx bone. Oh, very, very. Where do us women really hold our tension? Yeah, lower back. And I'm putting some on my a belly button they say you can overdose on castor oil can i tell you um and my teenager daughter 
watching TikTok, Mama, you're using too much. Don't listen to the teenagers. They don't need to be putting too much on at all. You listen to your body, your own medicine, your body self heals. It's fantastic. Um, meditate, write down what you want. Let your family step up in the cooking, in the cleaning, self pamper. As I said, I grew up in a generation where we don't self pamper. I had my mum here, which was really stressing, a very negative woman. Um, and that really took its toll on me because what happens, you go back into those habits, into that gaslighting and that Italian mother of just get on with it. And yeah, so make sure and what's dropping in your spirit, if you need to forgive, do that. The stress levels will kill you. Yes. And um, as I said, six drops of frankincense. And the castor oil have this in your bag and I had horrific coughing obviously the gut and everything was just coming out coffee capsules stay off them anything fast food processed get off it go completely completely organic as much as you can rosemary water go back to your roots I'm in Italy I'm around 10,000 olive trees. Medicinal Medin is pure olive oil and I've got gorgeous olive oil from the south of Italy, Puglia, where my family are from. Lymphatic drainage. My feet are an issue. Cut wounds are taking longer. So I've got a plaster with essential oil clove. Teratotra is what I'm using, but then I've got amazing coconut from Southeast Asia, ginger, kimchi, um, and also for your gut health is that horrendous milk, but I keep things simple before I, the day starts. Lemons from Sicily, lemon tea, rosemary tea, and the tea, not in a tea bag. If you've got tea bags, just open it up. And I've got gorgeous tea from um, Asia as well. You know, I'm digital nomad. I travel around the world. Check it out on my blog. There's awesome stuff of Vietnam, Laos, and Thailand. My YouTube, I'm writing a book. Should I write a book? Are you interested in my stories? Are you interested in the bullying that I've experienced? My self-worth this year, as I said, my health has been under attack. I've been verbally abused by strangers, even parking a car in Italy. Just these demonic manifestations. And I'm like, uh-huh, but I'm experienced. I recognize it. I pray. I had a woman just going at me. So I started speaking scriptures at her. She was losing her mind. I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. We all have our prophetic gifting. We all have that gifting. The Chosen, Netflix, it's awesome. It's Jesus and the parables. It's great. It breaks it down. So for me, my spirit, and I've had it all my life, people just, just out of nowhere will start vulgar abusing me. And I recognize that's the, that's the evil, that's the pit of hell. And I just pray. And sometimes I'll go all out loud like I did with this woman. And the more... I prayed scripture, she, because my head hurting, my head hurting, but we won't get into deliverance and stuff. But do not be afraid. We are in really interesting times and the stress level of people, the vax versus non-vax, people are in are stressed. The cost of living is higher. Just, just be very careful, even in road rage. Try and mind your own business and just be in tune. And get and the menopause, it's brutal, but it's only a season. Stiffness, lymphatic drainage, castor oil. Here was fantastic. This cough after the growth was taken out, which is a gut issue. Um, it took about three weeks and I have never had so many much energy Oh, in years, like it's midnight, I can't sleep. 
If you can't sleep, don't just dither and dather, read a book, write, diary, um, do stuff, creative shedding, don't bury your stuff. So my clothes and jewellery have been in, this, in storage for four years. That was taking its toll as well. So I feel fantastic. My knee, working on that. Um, acupuncture, body stress release. The body is very, very clever. If you can, stay away from the big farmers. They just want you to pump stuff in you. Go natural. Uh, coffee capsules, stay away from them. Coffee beans, just grate them as you go. That's my tip. And... Um, no sugar, no cakes, no soft drinks. And the moment I start, and I tried it, had a coffee capsule, um, oh, started almost vomiting. The body's very clever. Sugars, I look at them like, nah, not going there. Real health scare. You've got a growth on the tongue. After two weeks, if it doesn't go, go to the doctor. It is something serious. And I... Um, also, go to your dentist, uh, bicarbonate soda, I'm in my mouth, uh, mouth hygiene, cleaning your tongue, getting your teeth regularly checked, and so forth. And um, I've got a, um, a gut I found with this growth. It was really, um, really, it wasn't right. Stay off vinegars. Um, don't ignore that. So the castor oil, check it out on my other YouTube on how to find castor oil. It smells like peanuts, smells like um, olive oil. If it's really thin, it's not castor oil in its purest form. What's in the West is completely different from the East. So look at reviews and share what castor oil works for you as well. And never, as I said, ignore your health so important in your 50s um, to to look after your health I got teenager girls and I mean God will take you out whenever he wants there's no doubt about that but um, and I feel fantastic and castor oil for me is is amazing thank you very much I'm wide awake it's midnight and I'll probably wait for you, Elf. I'll just get on with working and diary and having um, a nice rosemary. I have like, lots of rosemary bush, um, so I make my own rosemary. And it's amazing for your hair. Like, I've never had such thick, um, strong hair. There you go.